and entomologists with the University of Energy and Natural Resources is raising public awareness about the consumption of African palm weevil larvae known as akokono in the Akan language. According to Dr. Jacob Pachiga, um, the coordinator of the Health Insect Project, the insect is highly nourishing for the body and has a potential to protect the environment because it generates little or no greenhouse gases. The Health Insect Project farm in Sonyai is only about 10 feet square in size, but it holds about 300 rearing beans. Join us as Mahmoud Mohamed Nouruddin was at the farm in Sonyai and now reports. So these beans you are seeing all over here have either the larval or adult stages of the African palm larva, which is traditionally known as Akokono in the Akan language. So we use very simple uh, agricultural products and sometimes agricultural waste to produce these nutritious edible insects. Dr. Jacob Ananquari, an entomologist and lecturer at the University of Energy and Natural Resources, says the larvae grow between 21 and 28 days before harvesting. Once these ones hatch and grow up to 21 to 28 days, they are often ready for the market. So um, harvesting uh, a few of them. I don't want some have, have started weaving cocoons, so I don't want to to bother them so much. So you can have a look. If you see a bin like this, it has coconut hacks and other. So you see larvae all over. You can see larvae everywhere. I was just harvesting a few of them. They have a high rate of reproduction, and one bean can harvest between 150 and 180 larvae, weighing around one kilogram, depending on the size. So 150 to 180 will be a kilogram, depending on the sizes. Because you see, if these ones are much smaller than these ones. Okay, so these are actually ready for the market. This is about the eighth insta stage. So it means these eggs were laid first. Yeah, so each bean has a minimum of one kilo. Some have two kilos, others have as high as five kilograms. And all this depends on the number of adults I have put in each bean. Some have just three pairs, others have two pairs. But if you have five pairs, then you are getting a lot of larvae. Because each adult, each female adult can lay as much as 300 eggs. But the thing is, you know, not all the eggs will hatch. And if they all hatch, not all of them will grow into adulthood because if there is limited food, they may be cannibalism in the beans. It contains 19 of the 21 essential amino acids as well as high iron. levels of protein and, and iron. They have 19 out of the 21 essential amino acids and they have superior protein and iron content that I will share with you at a different point in time. So if you come and take a look at this, this is um, a bin uh, containing, these are two bins containing adults that we inoculated three weeks ago. And these are the adult stages. They are dead now. And then these are the larvae. These are just three weeks old. And you can see them looking healthy, strong, and yummy. So these ones will lay eggs and the eggs will hatch into young larvae. The edible insect emits no or very little greenhouse gas. According to Dr. Ananquari, eating them could help with both food insecurity and climate change. And then whereas the beef has 14 milligrams of calcium, the insect has 88 milligrams. So somebody should tell me why we should not promote the consumption of edible insects. Then again, these insects do not emit greenhouse gases. Only a few groups of insects emit little greenhouse gases. If you compare these to conventional meats like beef, these produce 100 times less uh, greenhouse gases. Okay? And then if you also look at the amount of vegetation you need as the palm larvae, you need little space. Look at this little space that I'm using. And I'm producing several kilos per week. Currently, one kilogram of palm lava costs between 70 and 100 cities. We produce and we are not able to meet the quantities that people are purchasing. 
Because if I tell you the number of people who place orders and the class in society who place orders, you'll be shocked. That is why the prices have gone up to about 70 to 100 Ghana cities per kilo. And why is it expensive? It's because um, we are not so many, just a few people are producing. Dr. Anankwari refuses to share his trade secret, but says that production is simple and cost effective. So you need a simple red bean like this, which is relatively cheaper. Okay, this is a bean that you need and then you need a wire mesh like this and this is supposed to prevent predators and parasitoids when i say predators i mean world jackals lizards rats and parasitoids are insects that feed on other insects and then you also need a rope and then a rubber band to hold it in place and then you need a cloth like this just to cover as i'm doing so that those insects which can actually penetrate the wire mesh holes will not be able to penetrate that. So you can see that other insects have come to lay their eggs on the cloth. We simply wash this uh, periodically. So without this wire mesh, all these insect eggs would have been inside the bin and that will contaminate our setup. And that is why we're doing this. The entomologist says Ghana must push for innovation to encourage the growth of insects in order to help the economy grow and protect the environment. So we can collaborate with these people, get them on board, train and empower them to produce the black soldier fly, Hemasha illusens larvae, which will augment or replace fish meal in the diets of poultry, fish and pigs. And I'm sure with that, we will be able to fully feed our people with the right amount of protein without necessarily importing protein. And that will go a long way in helping the economy because we will no longer have to spend so much CD to buy dollars and import meat products. A report by Mohamed Nuruddin.